I need help with window unit air conditioner troubleshooting. If you turn it on and then hide it behind thick drapes to dampen the noise, you end up sweltering on the couch while the neighbors think the window looks into a winter wonderland. I know you need clear airflow to let the cool air into the house. I also know that a dirty air filter can prevent it from getting it from getting enough airflow to generate a stream of cool air. Window ACs have worse efficiency just because you have an open air gap over it, so the cool air mixes with 100 degree air from outside. I've tried to minimize that, even if just with duct tape. You sometimes find that the cool air leaks out the vents before getting to you. Or the condenser and coils are not working well. Window ACs tend to get less maintenance than the big house ACs, but you still need to clean the coils to keep its efficiency up. They also tend to rust out. It is sitting outside in the sun. They are more likely to rust out because they are rarely level and properly draining away the infrequent rain or the condensate generated by the coil. It is not obviously tilted. Even a little off means the moisture may not be able to drain out of the drain, so then it rusts out the motor or shorts out the electronics. Though it is more likely an overflowing gutter that pours on enough to short a control board. That's definitely a new reason to clean the gutters. If the thing just would not turn on, I'd check the breaker. Or turn off the other appliances plugged into the same outlet, since one outlet may support the AC, but not five fans too. No, we are not doing that. The thing should show you an error code, though the meaning of the error codes between brands. However, regardless of the brand, a power fluctuation could turn it off and keep it off until you reset it. The window AC is not quite as obvious as hitting the reset button on a furnace that's big and red. Unplug it, wait 5 minutes, plug it back in. What if it is not cooling? You could check to see if the thermostat is set low enough, make sure the compressor motor is running and not just the air moving fans, or the coil is actually condensing. It is not like I can see the refrigerant, or if I did, I know that's why it is not cooling. If the coil is not actually cool and there's no condensate on it, you know that the compressor or condenser is broken, or that all the refrigerant escaped. All of which means the repair guy gets to burn a hole in my wallet.